Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulan, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, ALS, alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the e is offering programs which we will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the e will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our modules, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! The Depth Ed Itulai gives you the Senior High School Humanities and Social Sciences program. Get to know your Youngstastic tutors for the exciting first semester of the academic year 2021-2022 every Thursday from 4 to 6 p.m. Here they are. Halika na at matuto sa iyong Youngstastic Tutors ngayon. Humanda at sumamang saliksikin ang hiwaga ng humanidades at agham panlipunan. Laging tandaan, ikaw ang best to wing webes. Sa tulong ng teknolohiya at maging ng social media, paaralan ay kusang lalapit sa iyo. Yeah, and so, isang yung stastic na hapon, our yung stastic tutis mula Luzon, Visayas, at Mindanao. Welcome sa inyong DepEd Itolay Online Tutorial Program. Ito ay handog sa inyo ng Department of Education sa pangunguna ng Educational Technology Unit. Hayaan nyo kami nga samaan kayo sa isang makabuluhang pag-aaral sa hapong ito. Kaya naman humandana at sumamang saliksikin ang hiwaga ng humanidades sa daghang panlipunan. Welcome sa inyong DepEd Itulay Online Tutorial Program. Ako ang inyong Yumstastic Tutor, Tutor Aids na always excited to bring learning. At ako naman ang inyong Yungstastic Cheater G, ang Gigil na gigil na kaya ay paglingkuran at matuto sa hapong ito. Sa subject na philosophy, papalawigin natin ang inyong kalaman sa larangan ng filosofiya because we learn, we create, and we think in a philosophy. Okay. Okay, so Cheater G, now... Let us introduce our duty of the week. Siya ang duty na nagpakita ng galing at pagiging active sa pagsagot ng mga activity at nakilahok sa ating buong discussion last week. Kaya naman gusto kong gusto naming batiin si Althea Rain Florendo, Section 10 Abad Santos ng Ilocos Sur National High School. SDO Vegan City. Gusto din natin masalamatan ang kanyang advisor na si Ma'am Joy Jean Marie L. Rapada at principal na si Madam Editha Bagkal. Congratulations! Yeah, so, congratulations, Altea Rain Florendo. So, ako'y natutuwa talaga, Chuter G, at marami yung mga 
nakilahok sa atin last week. So may mga bago tayong uh, SDO or mga schools na nakita tulad nito nga si si Altea ay galing sa SDO Bigan City. So meron din tayong galing sa Subic, Sambuanga, Davao, ang daming bago tutorji. Yes. So natutuwa ako at congratulations mo sa ating Chuty of the Week. Sana ay may mga Chuties pa na from different divisions and different regions tayong makasama sa susunod na mga linggo. So, binabati ko muna, Tutor G, ang aking principal from Cabiao National High School, si Ma'am Hilaria E. Calma at mga co-teachers ko po from Cabiao National High School. Hello po sa inyong lahat. Yes, ako naman po, Tutor Aids. Gusto ko rin mag-hello sa ating mga tutis na kasama natin ngayon, sa mga parents, teachers, lalo na sa mga co-teachers ko sa Maligaya National High School, sa pangunguna ng aming butihing principal na si Ma'am Jesus Sadibote. Hello! Ayan! So, welcome, tutis and parents, to our subject, Introduction to the Philosophy of the Human Person. Yes, this is our quarter to week two. Freedom and Responsibilities. So again, gusto namin pasalamatan ang DepEd Regional Office 9, Zamboanga Peninsula para sa module na gagamitin natin today. Yeah, and so before anything else, uh, ito rin po yung mga objectives natin. So at the end of the session, you should be able to A. Realize that A. Choices have consequences. B. Some things are given up while others are obtained in making choices and show situations that demonstrate freedom of choice and the consequences of their choices. Yes. So now this is the continuation of our lesson last week. So our lesson two is all about freedom and responsibility also. Okay. Okay, freedom of the human person. So, a fundamental attribute of being human as entrenched in the human spirit is freedom. To understand freedom, humanity cannot pursue it within the parameters of the physical or natural world alone. Okay, it must order to the truth of the all divine one. Chuter Aids. Okay, thank you, Chuter G. So, fundamental. So, pag sinabi natin fundamental, Chuter G, that is what we call necessary or essential. Okay, essential attribute sa tao, okay, na naka-establish na sa human spirit natin as freedom. So, napakalawak na ng definition natin ng freedom, Chuter G, because sabi dito, freedom ay naka-establish na yan sa human spirit natin. So, even though uh, pagkapanganak sa atin, we have the freedom na. So, sabi rito, we cannot define in the parameter of physical and natural world ang definition ng freedom. Kasi madalas natin define ang freedom sa kung ano yung nangyayari sa atin sa paligid natin. Example, uh, meron tayong kalayaan pumili kung sino ang gusto natin iboto. Meron tayong kalayaan kung anong gusto nating sabihin doon sa tao or sa social media. So, doon natin define ang Freedom. So according sa definition na binigay ni Tutor G, hindi natin madidefine ang freedom by the use of physical or natural word alone. Okay? Because it is in the order of the divine one. So medyo malalim na ang pinaghuhugutan ng definition natin ng freedom. Tutor G, nasa divine one na tayo. Okay? So yes. banal. Okay? So Tutor G. So according here, to be free is part of our transcendence okay it is going beyond situations such as physical or economic our dreams cannot be halt and not guaranteed by neither our economic progression nor our physical outlook the need for critical thinking as a tool toward truth and freedom is compulsion Ayan, okay. okay, so ang pagiging malaya natin, sabi natin, ay bahagi ng ating transcendence. Diba nasabi natin before na ito ay ang pag-exceed ng higit sa kakayahan natin. So hindi lang natin pinag-usapan dito ang patungkol sa mga sitwasyong physical or sabi nga economic, yung mga pangarap natin ay hindi pwedeng hadlangan or mapigilan ng ating pag-unlad. So sa kabilang banda, hindi din naman ito guarantee ng ating pag-unlad. So kailangan pa rin na meron tayong critical, critical thinking upang makamit natin ang kalayaan or yung freedom as we know it. Ayan. Okay, now the first objective is realize that all action have consequences. Okay, we have the word power of 
the phrase power of volition. So the power of volition is the power to make your own choices of decision. As said, the will of humanity is an instrument of free choice. At a certain point in life, we were to make choices, choice that either led us as victors or as more experienced ramblers in life. The result of these choices are our present. Ayan, Tutor Aids. Ayan, so thank you very much, Tutor G. So the power of volition. Siguro bago tayo sa word na volition, Tutor G. So pag sinabi natin kasi yung volition, this is our will, this is our wish. Okay, so uh, the power of volition is nagko-concentrate yan with making own decision. Sabi nga natin, as humanity, we have the, uh, what we call the, we are free from making choices or Kasama na dyan yung the power of volition kung saan gumagawa tayo ng mga decision. So it depends on your decision. So sabi rito, it can either lead you to a victory or it can either uh, express or more experience rumble in life. So it depends on you because you have the freedom of decision kung saan makakarating yung mga decision mo sa buhay. Pwede kang magtagumpay or pwede kang masira sa yung mga decision. It depends on the power of volition. Ayan. Thank you, Chatter G. So next... Yes. Now let us have an activity, Tutor Aids. Okay, so we're going to have an activity one. So our direction. In the figure shown on the next slide, we will show you a problem of choice in the main road and available choices in the intersection roads. You will comment your decision and why. So magpapakita kami rito ng mga problems of choice. So meron ditong road, tama, Tutor G. So mamimili lang kayo ng road kung saan kayo pupunta and then i-comment niyo yung road na yon and bakit so hingi namin yung inyong uh, explanation kung bakit yun yung pinili niyo okay so chapter G okay chapter okay, A so let's begin so first we have vaccine for minors so let me read first the roads letter A I don't want to be vaccinated B I will go and be vaccinated and letter C I am undecided. So, we have first vaccine for minors. So, ito ay napapanahon, Tutor Aid, since papasok na tayo sa second year ng ating pandemic. Okay, ano kaya ang naiisip ng ating mga tutees tungkol dito? So, anong choice kaya ang inyong pipiliin? Aling road? Is it A, B, or C? Vaccine for minors. Ano ang inyong stand dito sa ating topic? First activity. Ayan. Ayan, may sumagot na, Tutor Aids. May mga sumagot na. So first, let me read. Althea Natividad. Ang kanyang sagot ay B. I will go and be vaccinated because it will help me and other people to be safe in COVID from COVID-19. Ayan, tama, Tutor Aids. And also, we have Lorraine. Ang sabi niya, letter C. I will go and be or letter B siguro to tutor aids. I will go and be vaccinated to make sure that I am protected whenever I go. Okay, so positive ang kanilang mga sagot. Ayan, marami lang sumagot. Shoot is very good. Babasahin natin yan later. Okay, let's move on, tutor aids, to the next. Ayan, so next tayo, tutor G. Okay, so number two. Ayan, marami makakarelate dito ah. Broken hearted. So, kung broken-hearted ka, saan ka pupunta? Okay? So, letter A, I will lock myself in the room and cry. Mm, letter B, I will try to move on. And letter C, I will seek revenge. Lagay nyo po yung number two, yung answer ninyo kung saan road kayo, and then yung inyo pong explanation. Ayan, para malaman namin ni Tutor G kung ano yung sinasagutan natin. Okay? Yes. So, may mga sumasagot pa rin, Tutor G. Doon sa number one, I will go vaccinated. Ayan. So, hintayin lang natin. Ito, may sumagot na. Chatter G. Ayan, ang bibilis. Okay. So, si Lorraine, ang una ko nakita. Sabi ni Lorraine, letter B, I will try to move on. For that, I can easily forget and love myself again. Wow. So, pag nakamove on ka, mamahalin mo yung sarili mo. Ayan. So, sumunod na sumagot ay si Altea. Ayan. So, sabi ni Altea, letter B. I will try to move on because if I lock myself in my room or take revenge, it won't do me any good. And it uh, if I move on my life, 
can be even better. So kung magmo-move on daw siya, magiging mas better ang kanyang buhay. Ayan, so maraming sagot dito. Tulad nito si Bea, sobrang haba ng sagot ni Bea. So babasahin po namin yan during the offline. So hindi di namin mababasa po lahat kasi ng comment dahil limited ng ating time. So thank you po sa mga sumagot. Yes, Chitter Aids, ang daming mga sagot. Thank you, Chutis. Okay, the last one. Okay, last na to. Next, okay, we have number three, face-to-face -face classes. So, letter A, I will read the roads. A, I will comply with my school. B, I will not participate. Or C, I am undecided. Okay, so face-to-face -face ang last na topic natin. What will be your decision if the decision is all yours? Since, syempre, maraming... Um, adults na sa senior high school, ano ang inyong decision? Okay, pag 18 and above, baka decide na sila, Chitter Aids. Ayan, may sumagot na Chitter Aids. So we have Althea Natividad. Ang kanyang sagot sa number 3, A, I will comply with my school because if that is the government's decision, I will follow it because schools will not open if it is not safe for students. Tama naman siya. And in fact, it is difficult to study if there is no teacher. So it is good to have face-to-face -face classes. Tama naman siya, Chitter Aids. And then we have another one. We have Lorraine. Ang sabi niya, letter A, then I will comply with my school. I am learning more when I am at school and I also miss attending school. O, namimiss daw niya ang kanyang school, ang pag-attend ng classes. Ayan. Also, let's read Leslie Tongohan's answer. Ang sabi niya, I am undecided because my parents will be the one who will decide for me. Ayan. So, nire-respeto niya ang kagustuhan ng mga magulang niya. Ayan, tutor aid. So, marami na tayong mga sagot. Thank you, Chuti, sa inyong mga sagot. Babasahin natin yan offline. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank Let's you, Chuti, sa mga honest uh, answers ninyo. Talaga naman napaka-honest ng mga Chutis natin with regards sa giving explanation. So, meron tayo rito, Chuter G, Defend Your Understanding. So, according to Jean Paul Sartre, emphasize the importance of free individual choice regardless of the power of other people to influence and coerce our desires, beliefs, and decision. To be human, to be conscious, is to be free to imagine, free to choose, and be responsible to one's life. Okay, thank you, Tutor Aid. So, binibigyan din ni Jean Paul, Mr. Jean Paul Sartre, ang kahalagahan ng kakayahan ng bawat tao. Di ba sa mga pagsagot ninyo dun sa mga questions natin late, A while ago, yung tungkol sa face-to-face, -face, broken-heartedness, um, at vaccine, kayo mismo ang nagde-decide para sa sarili nyo. So, ine-emphasize dito sa deepen your understanding na mahalaga ang inyong individual choices. So, kahalagahan ito ng inyong kalayaan. Okay? Ano man ang kakayaan ninyo or kapangyarihan ng ibang tao sa inyo, influensya ng, at, ng ibang tao sa inyo, tulad na lang ng sagot ng isang chuti natin, na iniimpluensyahan pa rin ng magulang niya ang kanyang mga um, choices. Okay, okay naman yon But we should still know the importance of our own choices. So kahit iniimpluensyahan pa rin ng ibang tao ang ating paniniwala, ang ating desisyon at mga hangarin, daasa atin pa rin ang kalayaan. Okay, Chuti? So sinasabi ni Sartre na para maging ganap na tao, dapat daw ikaw ay malaya. Malaya sa isip, malayang pumili at maging responsable sa sarili mong buhay. Ayan. I hope it is clear, Chutis. Okay. Now, let's have an important question here, Tutor Aids. Okay. Can you write down your own um, definition of freedom? What is your definition of the word freedom, Chutis? Okay. Uh, isusulat natin sa, sa ating comment section. Antayin natin, Tutor Aids, kung ano yung kanilang idea of the word freedom sarili niyo lang sagot no hindi galing kay Mer Meriam Webster okay chapter 8 ikaw chapter 8 so ano so, para pa sa natin, inyo chapter G bina Ayan so kanina pa nga natin binabanggit chapter G ang freedom yes. so uh, siguro sa akin chapter G when we say freedom this is about being responsible 
Okay? Kasi yeah. alam naman natin when it comes to freedom, kailangan natin maging responsable. Kasi hindi porkit you have the freedom, ay kaya mo nang gawin lahat. Kailangan maging responsable ka rin sa lahat ng ginagawa mo. At syempre, kailangan may paninindigan na yan. So ikaw, Chuter G, bago tayo tumingin dito ng ibang comment. Yes, marami na. So para sa akin man, ang freedom is the power, kakayahan, kapangyarihan para gawin mo ang gusto mo. Ayan. To do what you want to do. Yun naman sa akin ang freedom. Okay. So, let's read you to our age yung mga sagot. Ang dami ng mga sagot. Okay. Kay Jen Ausa, for me, freedom is like a flying bird. It flies as far as it wants. It flies without hesitation. Also, freedom generally is having the ability to act or change without constraint. Ayan. Very good, Jen. Okay, another one, we have Tristan. Ang kanyang sagot, freedom is the condition of being free from restraints and having the right to be me and express myself. Ayan, tutor aid. So, okay, we have, we also have Joseph, Conrad Bulaklak. Ang kanyang sagot, freedom is one kind that being love that lives in freedom. Ayan, ang kanyang sagot. Okay, thank you, Chutis. So, maraming mga sagot, tutor aids ng ating tanong na freedom. Ayan, ha? Ang gagaling na ating mga tutees. Ayan. Actually, gusto ko yung sagot ni Conrad kanina, ni Joseph. Freedom is love. Ayan. So, ngayon, let us have our Defend Your Freedom. So, based on the description or definition, you have fully formulated. Ayan, nababasa pa rin namin yung mga definition ninyo. Complete the following sentences. Okay, based on your given definition ha, pakicomplete lang yung mga sentences natin. Okay, number one, I am free because I will strive to be blank. Ayan, so hintayin namin yung sagot ninyo again. I am free because I will strive to be blank. Ayan. So, based on your given definition kanina, mga chutis, pakikompleto lang ang ating sentence. Number one, ayan, so may sumagot na, Chatter G, sabi rito, I am free because I will strive to be a good person. Sabi nga natin, kaagapay ng freedom is responsibility to be a good person. Thank you, Lorraine. And then, meron din dito, according to Jen, to be a strong person. Then, to bring me down. Ayan, parang one and two na natin ang sinagutan ni, ni Lorraine dito. So, ayan, si Jen, sabi, to be a strong person. Ayan, nababasa namin yung mga comment ninyo. And then, ang gaganda ng mga sagot nila, Chutter G. So, punta na tayo yes, sa number two. Okay, for number two, I am free. Ayan na, dugtungan natin. I am free because I will not allow. Okay? You are free dahil hindi mo papayagan na ano mga chutis. Ano ang inyong sagot? So, marami silang mga sagot tutor aid sa number one. So, sabi ni Arleya, isang bago nating chuti, I am free because I will strive to be a better person. Tama. Tulad ng sinabi ni tutor aid, we are free because we we are good person inside. Ayan. Meron na tayong number two, tutor aid. Si Bea may empainado ang kanyang sagot. I am free because because I will not allow people to step on me because they have no right to do that. Tama, si Bea. Yes. Hindi mo papayagan na aapakan ka na lang or mamaliitin ka ng ibang tao. Next, we have Leslie. Ang kanyang sagot, I am free because I will not allow my problems to bring me down. Ayan. Hindi ka dapat panghihinaan ng loob kung may mga dumarating na problem sa buhay mo. Okay, you have to stand tall and stand up for your problems. Next, we have Bea. Ang kanyang sagot, I am free because I will not allow people to step. Naulit na natin to, Tutor Aids. Okay. And another one, we have um, Crystal Ashley V. Lucas. I am free because I will not allow them to disrespect me. Ayan, ang gaganda ng mga sagot nila, Tutor Aids. Yeah, so very good po tayo. So, okay, so Chuter G. So we have here social contract. So what is social contract? So the law of nature or lex naturalis is a percept established by reason by which a person is forbidden 
to do what which is destructive of his life or takes away the means of preserving the same and to omit that by which he think it may be best preserved. Yes, chapter 8. So, meron tayong idea dito ng social contract. Now, in philosophy, political philosophy kasi itong social contract, chapter 8. So, social contract is yung mutual or actual agreement between members of society. It is um, patungkol ito sa pagrespeto sa rights ng bawat isa. So, okay. So, may kasunduan dito na need natin respetuhin ang mga karapatan ng ating kapwa, ng bawat isa. So, ipinagpabawal nagawan mo daw ng masama or sirain or kitilin ang buhay ng iyong kapwa. Okay? So, may need para pangalagaan ang ating buhay at pangalagaan din ang buhay ng ating kapwa or ng bawat isa. Ayan. Okay, next we have choices is equal to consequences. Ayan. Okay, so choices have consequences and some things are given up while others are obtained in making choices. One innate value amongst Filipinos are kagandahang loob, kabutihang loob, kalooban, and utang na loob. Okay? A Filipino value that centers on one's self-sharing to others. Ayan. Ayan. So, uh, choices equals consequences. So, parang yan. So, parang gusto kong dagdagay yan, Tutor G. Choices plus responsibility equals consequences. Kasi magkakakuan yung tatlo na yan eh. Okay? Kasi when you have your choice, so dapat you are responsible kung ano man yung magiging consequences nito. Kasi alam naman natin, when you are making choices, meron yung consequences. Whether it is good or bad consequences, dapat alam natin paano natin siya paninindigan or i-obtain uh, rather in making choices. So, ano kaya ang connection ng mga innate values natin when it comes on choices? Pag sinabi kasi natin innate values, yan yung mga inherited na inamana na nating mga values from our mga ninuno pa, yung kagandahang loob, kabutihang loob, okay, lo ah, kabutihang loob or kalooban, yung mga utang na loob. Ayan, familiar tayo dyan sa utang na loob. And a Philippine values that centers on one self sharing to others. Okay, so kinukonekta natin yung choices and consequences dun sa mga init values nating mga Filipino. So, let us have... It encompasses that give and take relationship among Filipinos as such repaying those who have helped us in a manifestation of utang na loob. Ayan. It contends that Filipinos are morally and intellectually disciplined from within or from within although transgressions over these values uh, emancipate freely. Yes. So, ang utang na loob daw or ang salitang loob ay mahalagang Um, concept no, na nagagalagay sa ating mga Pilipino sa pakikipag-ugnayan or ang ating give and take or ang connection natin sa ating kapwa. So, importante sa mga Pilipino daw ang salitang utang na loob. Totoo kaya to? Okay. So, nasabi natin na ang salitang utang na loob ay sumasakop yan sa idea ng give and take nga. Tulad ng pagsukle, kung may ginawa sa yung mabuti, eh parang iniisip mo na na kailangan din natin suklian ito ng mabuti. Yung taong tumulong sa atin, tutulungan din natin. Ayan. So, pinapakita nito na yung mga Pilipino ay morally upright or disiplinado ang kalooban. Naniniwala sila na doing good to others, uh, yung... Kapalik. Mo, mm -mm, may kapalit. Uh, doing good is doing good to others and others will do good to you. Di ba? The idea is malaya tayo pero wala tayong paglabag sa mga kapwa natin. So, dinidisregard naman natin yung idea na paggawa ng masama ng ibang tao. Pero as a whole, Filipinos are morally upright and um, disiplinado ang kalooban. Okay? So, sinasabi natin na marunong tayo sa pagsunod at paggawa ng tama sa ating kapwa. Ayan. Utang na loob. <laughs> okay. Now we have the freedom of choice and the consequences of their actions. So freedom, which can be understood in the act of choosing, can never be compartmentalized in the act of thinking. One must necessarily be conscious in, of his choosing and take its notch as his responsibility. If not, he be left to none but to an obvious quandary. Filipino standards or values 
have its median of either advances or impedes. The consequences are all but a result of Filipino close-knit interpersonal relationship. Ayan, Tutor Eats. Ayan, so sabi nga natin, Tutor G, that the freedom is the act of choosing. Okay? So dapat when you are choosing, okay, kung gagawa ka ng decision, dapat you are conscious of making your own decision. Kasi hindi naman tayo gumagawa ng decision na hindi natin alam. Okay, walang ganun na, ay, sorry, mali yung naging decision ko kasi hindi ko alam yung in, yung ginagawa ko. So, make uh, be responsible in making decision because you must be uh, conscious okay, sa paggawa na decision. At yung mga Filipino values natin, sabi rito, is may mga kaagipat yung consequences na results of being freedom and uh, having uh, uh, choosing their own decision. Tulad na lang ng utang na loob. Okay? Kasi pag sinabi natin utang na loob, G, parang yung freedom natin ay nawawala na. Kasi nakakapit na tayo doon sa tinatawag nating utang na loob. So, oy may utang na loob ka sa akin. So, gagawin mo yung gusto ko. So, parang nawawala yung freedom or yung ability natin to make choices. So, yun yung parang kino, uh, uh, idinidikit natin when it comes on freedom on making choices and the consequences because of our Filipino values. So, Chatter G, so punta tayo sa activity 2. Ayan, so... Meron tayong mga Filipino values. Parang nagbigay na ako ng idea kanina do sa explanation ko. So meron tayong mga Filipino values dito. So you need to comment your possible consequences for each. Ayan. So ano ba yung magiging consequences natin sa mga Filipino values? So i-comment nyo lang sa ating comment section. Okay, Chitter Aids. So first one, Chitter G, we have here. Ayan, nasabi ko na kanina. Problem natin is utang na loob. What will be the uh, prudent choice or consequences kapag meron tayong utang na loob? Yan. So, hintay tayo ng mga sagot coming yes, from our is. duties. Pwede itong positive or negative tutor aids. Yes. Yung kanilang sagot. Ano bang choice ang gusto nilang ibigay about utang na loob? Yung idea ng utang na loob. Ayan. So, habang naghihintay tayo, nakita ko kanina may mga... Uh, Chutis tayo from Bogor Science and Arts Academy. Hello po sa inyo, si, si Jasmine. Okay, and then si Joyce Ley de la Cruz from Bogo Science and Arts Academy. Ayan, so meron na tayong sagot. Okay, so nakita ko si Casey ang unang sumagot. Sabi, I will repay that person to whom, to whom I owe the debt of gratitude. If she or he does not want to be paid back, I will appreciate it. And it will Uh, thank him. I will thank him or her for what she or he has done of kindness to me. If someone has been kind to you, attempt to repay the favor by doing the same. Okay, so kung may, may taong gumawa daw sa'yo ng mabuti, syempre, kailangan mo namang mag-repay sa paggawa rin ng mabuti. Ayan si Altea, sabi utang na loob should not be a problem for people because it will help others. We should not wait for anything in return. Okay, so parang mga positive yung binibigay nilang feedback. So babasa lang ako na last, I think last dito. Utang na loob, let us learn to be grateful to those who do us good and one day we will be able to return to them the kindness he did and gratitude. And thank you sa lahat ng chutis sa sumagot. Babasahin namin yung offline ni Tutor G. Yes. So next na tayo, Tutor G. Okay, we have number two, compadre system. Ayan. Ano nga ba yung compadre system? Shooties. Ano ang inyong sagot para sa ating number two, compadre system? Or yung tinatawag natin, tutor aids, na padrino system. Di ba, tutor aids? Ayan. Ano ba ang idea natin para sa number two? Is, ano yung inyong prudent choice? Okay, para sa compadre system. Pwedeng positive, pwede rin namang negative dito. Ayan, may sagot na tayo, Tutor 8, si Leslie Tongohan. Okay, ang sagot niya sa compadre system, dapat nang maalis ang sistemang ito upang maging malinis ang mga kalakalan at mga organisasyon sa ating lipunang kinabibilangan. Ayan, very good, Leslie. So, para sa kanya, negative yung compadre system. Okay, basahin ko muna yung kay Bea May Empainado, ang kanyang sagot. 
let us strengthen our relationship with our neighbor. Whatever you have in each other, we must take care of it and grow it so that the relationship is not wasted. Ayan, positive naman yung kay Bea. Chapter 8. So, basahin din natin yung kay um, Joseph Conrad Bulaklak. Ang kanyang sagot, if you hate someone, they can be a good idea to know the people, each other. So, pinag-usapan niya siguro dito, Chapter 8, eh, kilalanin natin ang ating kapwa. Ayan. Ayan din si Lorraine. Ang kanyang sagot, pagrespeto sa bawat isa. So, ang dami ng mga sagot, Chapter 8, si Ira. Last na, we should respect each other. So, importante ang respect para magkaroon tayo ng compadre system or yung padrino. Yun yung kanilang idea ng compadre system. Okay, may negative tayo at may mga positive din. Ayan. So, mamaya babasahin natin lahat yan, chutis. Let's move on to the next one. Ayan. So, respeto sa nakakatanda. Okay, again ha, parang positive siya. Pero we can also give a negative impression or consequences okay sa respeto sa nakakatanda okay so ano yung uh, prudent choice niyo pagdating sa respeto sa nakakatanda yan may sumagot na si Lorraine sabi niya rito pagsabi po ng po at opo sa tuwing nakikipag-usap sa nakakatanda which is good okay that is the choice of Lorraine kapag rumirespeto sa nakakatanda may po at opo okay and then according to Jen respect the elders and honors them Use po and opo when you talk to them. Tama nga naman, respect and honor the elder. Ayan. So, respect everyone. So, number two yata. And we should respect them especially when we talk to them. So, yun yung mga positive na uh, kumbaga, output nila or prudent choice nila when it comes to number three, chapter G. Respeto yes. sa nakakatanda. Ayan. So, next number tayo, chapter G. Yes, for number four, makadyos. Okay, makajos. Ano ang inyong idea dito sa salitang makajos? Or ang idea natin ng makajos? Ano ang prudent choice na inyong gagawin pagdating sa idea ng makajos? Okay. So, antayin natin, tutor H, ang mga sagot ng ating mga tutis. So, sumasagot pa rin sila sa number three. Ayan. Wait lang natin kasi, ayan. So, meron tayong sumagot si Jen Au sa ang kanyang sagot. Go with them, serve God, and worship together. Ayan. So, nakikisama siya na mag-worship daw. Okay, kay Bea, makajos. God should be the one. God should be the one we recognize and trust the most because He is the only one who truly choose and love us. So, He should be the one we prioritize, worship, thank, And above all, serve. Ayan. Okay. And next, we have Casey Lynn Makareg Belano. Ang sagot, faith in Almighty God must not only be visible. It must be instilled in the heart, mind, and life. And it must be supported and enriched by us. Okay, Tutor Aid. So, ang dami ng sagot na dumating. Okay. Lumalabas na lahat ng sagot sabay-sabay. Pero basahin natin yan later, Tutor Aid, para naman hindi masayang ang kanilang effort. Let's move on to the next one. Ayan. So, the last one, Chutter G, is ako ang boss. Ayan. So, ano ang prudent choice natin when it comes to this problem or statement? Ako ang boss. Ayan. So, hintayin natin. Meron ng sumagot si Leslie. Napakabilis. Ambilis. Sabi ni Leslie, number five, di nawawala ang pag-ugali ng ibang tao na pagiging bossy. Hindi din ito nakakaganda ng isang relasyon mo sa isang tao. Kaya naman dapat maging balanse ang iyong ugali, lalo na kung trabaho ang pinag-uusapan. Huwag daw piling boss, sabi ni Leslie, dahil sa trabaho dapat tayo lahat pantay-pantay. Even you are the boss, dapat tinatrato natin na maayos yes. ang ating mga katrabaho. And then, responsibilidad ang pamumunuan at respetuhin ang nasasakupan. That is according to Lorraine. And last one, siguro basahin natin yung kay Casey. Sabi niya, being a boss is a privilege. Tama nga naman. So we need to be a great boss and also a great leader and at the uh, same time, a great listener. Sabi nga natin, Shooter G, iba ang boss sa leader. So dapat yeah. siguro you must be a great leader, hindi yung a great boss. Kasi wala namang great boss. Kasi pag From the word boss, bossy. Okay, yung leader, lead. Ayan. So, yun yung po yung mga comment nila. Babasahin natin lahat yan. 
sa uh, pag nag-offline na kami ni Tutor G. So, punta na tayo, Tutor G, sa next slide yes. natin. Okay, Tutor Aid. So, the next one is we have to wrap up now. Ayan. So, the will of humanity is an instrument of free choice. It is within the power of everyone to be good or bad, worthy or worthless. That is anonymous. Okay, so muli, narito ang bumubuo ng Senior High School Humanities and Social Sciences. Yes, lagi po tayong sumubaybay tuwing alas 4 ng hapon para sa philosophy of the human person. Okay, for your feedbacks, duties, and suggestion, you may visit the tinyurl.com slash itulay feedback form kung may, meron kayong gustong feedback sa amin ni Tutor G. Yes, or you can scan the QR code that you are seeing on your screens right now. So thank you. Dito na nagtatapos ang ating Yumstastic episode para sa pangalawang linggo ng quarter 2 ng ating online tutorial. Muli akong Yumstastic Tutor, Tutor Aids na always excited to bring learning. Yes, maraming salamat sa inyong pagtutok and we hope to see you next week. Muli ako si Yumstastic Tutor G, ang gigil na gigil na kayo ay paglingkuran at matuto sa hapong ito. For comments and suggestions, you can email us at edtech.deped.gov.ph Yes, susunod na ang discipline and ideas in the social sciences kasama si Tutor Sheila and Tutor M. Okay, Chutis, magkita-kita ulit tayo next week dahil ikaw ang best tuwing huwebes. Kaalam! Kaalam! Bye guys! Thank you! Ang husay naman! Natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay!